Hey everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your four lines LCD I2C display to the Raspberry Pi within only five simple steps. So let's start with it. The first thing we're going to do is that we have to connect our Raspberry Pi with the display. So the way we do this is that we use the pins we already have on our Raspberry Pi. So we connect at first the 5 volt supply and then we connect our data and our clock communication to our Raspberry. And when you've done this you can start your Raspberry and the backlight of your LCD will be activated. So this is the way you see you did it right. And you're done with the most complicated part, the first one. The second thing we're gonna do is we go to our Raspberry and we enable the I2C. So we go to our Raspberry Pi configuration and when the menu is there we go to interfaces and enable I2C. Now we hit OK and that's done. The next thing, step number three, is we go to our console and we type in i square c detect minus epsilon minus one and then we get a map of all the i square c devices which are connected to our raspberry and if you get here a different number for your display write that one down that we can configure the python script afterwards normally you should also get the 27 but sometimes there are different things and if this is not working for you be sure that you are on the newest operational system for the raspberry if you don't know how to update that one or to configure it new to the new software i give you here a link for one of my other videos where you can see how you can do it and then the next thing we're going to do is we open the Tony Python IDE and that one we can close and then we get this window here and here we need to switch to the regular mode that's important because we want to install some new packages and for this we need to restart the Tony and then it's coming back after restart and after restart we have this new line here and then we say tools package management and here we can search for the package we need and that's quite awesome so what we do is that we just type in LCD 2004 give it an enter and then you get this one here um, we click on it and then we say install and now it's running and i've already opened the github for it so we see we are getting here a i square c python module and we can already copy that one because it's necessary for our display that's an, yeah first file where we can work with and after this is installed you get the information that it's done and you can say close and now we can paste our code if you copy that one right so let's do it again so here we go and then we hit the enter button or the run button and this may take a while and it's asking you whether you want to store it if you did not do it before so i make a new folder calling software and then i give it the name lcd.python and let's run it and then you get that text on the display uh, what you can do now is that you can change it in the initial version it's just used a two line display so everything we have to do if we want to type something new we just uh, copy that line and say line number two and it's working and um, 
Yeah, if it's not working for you, you probably have the wrong address. So here in the initialization, we have to change the I square C address. If you have another one, then 27. And if you have a four times a four line display, you probably will have to adapt that one to 20 because probably the wide of your display will be 20. And then you can, yeah, do or less, more or less everything you want to do. And then I'm going to show you some things which are coming with this library. So there's a bit more where you can do. And the easiest way to see it is that we just have a look inside of the program code. You also can open this in a Tony file, but uh, yeah, I find it's more easy to do it here. And there you find some things like you can write the line. This is what we already did here in this initial file or you can set the cursor here with the visibility or if the cursor should blink and you can also enable or disable the backlight and with it you have more or less everything you need for dealing with your LCD and I hope you liked the video in the next video I'm going to show you some examples what you can print on your LCD like your IP address or your time or maybe some other ideas. If you have some or want something to know how you can give it out at your display just write it down in the comments and I will have a look if I can give you a tutorial for this. And yeah I hope you liked the video and I would be glad if you have a look at to my playlist for Raspberry Pi. So that's all for today. I think it was really easy and I hope it helps you. So, see you next time. Goodbye.